Let us discuss this example. What we have, we have a function f of x is equal to 1 plus x square. And we have to find average value of this function. In previous video, we have already seen how to find average value. Let us do the same. Let us write the given function first. We have, what is a function we have? f of x is equal to 1 plus x square on close interval minus 1 comma 2. Okay, so clearly it's a polynomial function. That's why it is a continuous function. Okay, so we can apply that technique to find its average value. Then, will you tell me what is the formula? f of c is equal to f average. What is the formula we have? 1 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x dx. What is a and what is b? What is the interval we have? Minus 1 to 2. So, that's why a is minus 1 and b is 2. Let us put the values here and let us put the value of function also. So, this is equal to 1 upon 2 minus minus 1 limits minus 1 to 2. Our function is 1 plus x square dx, right? So, here what we'll have minus minus plus 2 plus 1, 3. So, this is 1 by 3. Let us integrate now. What is integration of 1? It is x. What is integration of x square? It is x cubed by 3 x cubed by 3 with limits minus 1 to 2. So, you know well what we do after this. We put upper limit first, minus we put a lower limit. So, this is equal to 1 by 3. Let us see what will happen if I put upper limit 2, 2 here, 2, let me write that thing, plus 2 cube is 8, 8 by 3, okay, minus, now I will put lower limit minus 1. If I put minus 1, we will have minus 1 here and minus 1 cube, minus, 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 minus again. So, we will have minus 1 by 3. Okay, so let us continue 1 by 3. What will happen if you solve the brackets? 8 by 3, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, 1 by 3. Okay, so 1 by 3. So, we, what will we do? We will add this 2 and 1. It will be 3, right? 8 by 3 plus 1 by 3 both have the same denominator. So, you can add numerators 8 plus 1, 9 by 3. So, you know that 3, 3 will get cancelled and you will have, uh, what will you have? 3, 3 plus 3, 6. So, 3, 3 cancel and we will have 2. So, what is average value of f? 2, right? So, now we have to find a point C where the function has its average value. Let us do that thing also. So, let us... Uh, indicate this one. Yes, this is our average value. So, therefore, f of c is equal to f average, which is equal to 2. So, now we are interested to know the value of c. f of c. Okay, let us apply this definition. f of x is 1 plus x square. So, f of c will be 1 plus c square is equal to 2. I uh, We want a value of c. So, that's why I will shift 1 on that side. So, here is plus, there will be minus. So, c square is equal to 2 minus 1, 1. So, c is equal to, let us take square root of both sides. So, square root will be both plus and minus. So, therefore, square root of 1 is 1. So, plus minus 1. See, the both points lie in this interval. Getting minus 1 comma 2. So, as you know, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So, this interval we have. So, first one point is minus 1 and second point is 1. So, both points lie in this interval. That means there are two points where the function gets its average value. Okay. Okay. You can make a screenshot of it and we will stop here. Thank you. Bye-bye.